Look who's joining me today. Mo Mooney's in the house. We are at the bins. First bins trip of 2021. And we're here actually two hours, two hours? Two hours before they close. So we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully we find some fun stuff. Um, I'm looking for plush and I'm gonna try to be pickier today because we got a lot of stuff at home. Anything specific you wanna find? Just cool vintage stuff. Cool vintage stuff. stuff. Let's get in there. There's a Simba plush here, but I already have a couple of them, so I don't want to take any more. Thomas and Friends building there. Yeah, that's cool. There's been two build birds today that I've never seen before. I'll show you those in the wrap up. But um, yeah, as far as getting here late, it seems like it's a little bit picked over. But they're starting to bring out new bins over there. So we're gonna let all the um, All the crazy ones pick through it first and then uh, we'll head over there this is a cool one that was cool our eyes are really scratched up yeah see there they go crazy man they're crazy so we'll wait till uh they get done and then uh we'll give it a look through all right, we're back home. Uh, we're gonna show you the put the, the haul now, which is a lot of plush. Mm -hmm. Just having a good time, having a good time selling. Good time selling the plush. How do you do that? Good, good, good time, time selling the, the plush. <laughs> Those girls on YouTube. <clears throat> um, we picked up a lot of plush today. Uh, it wasn't a crazy haul like the ones before, and it's because we went late. We went late, but it was interesting. I don't think we've ever been there that late. No. It was like two hours before they closed. So mm -hmm. the bins were picked over, but we still picked up plush because everybody leaves the plush behind because nobody likes selling the plush. But I do because guess what? Easy to ship. Won't break. Mm -hmm. And easy to list. Easy to list. They don't. What are they going to return it on? You know, unless they're like weirdos and they didn't. The only time a plush gets returned is when they're like, oh, I thought it was 14 inches. And then you're like, it clearly says in the title, six inches. Mm -hmm. And there's a picture of it next to a ruler where it's six inches. That's like the only time it gets returned. But these knuckleheads that don't read the description, I was like, they're just looking at the first picture and buy it or something. I don't know. Anyway. Ready? Go ahead. You you can have the honors. I found a Hello Kitty. She's like a little tropical Hawaiian Hello Kitty. She's got like a tan. <laughs> Ooh, she's been having the sun too long. Yeah, and it's actual. It's twenty seventeen. It's legit Hello Kitty. Yeah. Uh, I got towards the end. Mm -hmm. I found this um. Ghostbusters. Uh, stay stay puffed marshmallow, man little plush so you can hang it from something it's a hanger and uh yeah and this is it's it's not vintage it's new from uh 2016 so is that when that female movie came out the female version of probably thing? i don't know we got that guy four years already i found a bunch of Tsum Tsums. i found uh frozen the anna elsa elsa oh, right yeah so yeah elsa and then we found uh, this little crocodile guy from uh, Peter Pan. And I found a Captain Hook. He's somewhere. He's somewhere. I uh, found this uh, Just Friends penguin. I thought he was cool. I don't really pick up too much like holiday 
or Christmas plush. But I thought he was cool. He's neat. He's, but he could be like winter, just winter yeah, time. Yeah, just in a general. winter time. But he was pretty cool. Um, his little beanie and stuff. And the brand is Just Friends. You got friend zone, buddy. Or you picked this one up. Yeah. I had seen this one and then I left it there because I didn't think that you'd want it. It's like a bear unicorn with wings. It has like sparkly eyes. And it's Kelly Toys. Side a... oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Side note. These Kelly Toys one toy ones just like this. I don't know if they still have them, but I've picked them I've bought them from Burlington Coat Factory. Is it still called Burlington Coat Factory? Or just Burlington. I think it's just called Burlington. Uh, I've picked these up brand new at um, Burlington and flipped them on eBay. Because they have uh, all kinds of different ones. Different colors. Even like rainbow ones and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've sold this one before. So I picked it up. I oh. uh, found a little uh, Prex Tex. I've, you know what? I, I have a dinosaur that's this brand. Yeah. So it's another one. It's a little Tarant. Tar no. Triceratops. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Little guy. Got another Triceratops. Oh! Bam. This one is by... It just says Jurassic Valley LLC. Made in China. I think, I, saw, I think last time we were there, I saw a Jurassic Valley dinosaur, but it wasn't... It was, like, messed up, so I didn't pick it up. Oh. Found a, um, Animal Adventure pink rabbit. The only reason I picked it up is because it's Animal Adventure. If not, I would have left it there. And and I usually like when they have like these the little, paint the little paw prints, I guess. The pads, you could tell to see their pads. I think that adds to the coolness. And it was clean. It's nice. So Animal Adventure picked it up. Easter's coming up. So. That's right. Easter, Easter's coming up. Get your Easter stuff up. No, I think after or near Valentine's Day or something. I don't know. This guy's funny. Yeah. I, I haven't found him. It says, always up to something. Original Bobby Jack. <laughs> it's his little monkey. He's doing a little... Yeah, I don't know who face. Bobby Jack is, but I, 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 thought it was, I thought he was funny. He's like a little plastic belly button. He's cute. Oh, it's plastic? Oh, yeah. He's a little yeah. shirt. And the tag is like his face. Yeah, it's a pretty... Those good tags. Cute. I uh, picked up this uh, Build-A-Bear, and it is Thomas and Friends. So that is cool. I've never seen this before. Um, and he's not that heavy either, so that's good. Because sometimes these Build-A-Bears, when they're, like, stuffed good, they'll go over the pound mark. Yeah. But this one's good. Nice. We've got another, uh, what would you say, Animal Adventure? Yeah. Looks like a little moon. Or what is that, like an alligator or something? It's weird. It's just is a that little what it zebra. Is? It kind of looks like a, a moon, but it's an alligator. That's what it looks like to yeah, me. Yeah, that's has right. Feet and I always eyes. thought it was like a half moon. Yeah, but it does look you... like a crescent moon. Yeah. Or a crescent moon. Yes. Twenty sixteen. Just a little zebra guy. He's cool. He's cute. little 
little guy, little Simpson from Coco. I think his name is Miguel. Uh, this one says Disney Store. <laughs> the tag is like bigger than the plushie. <laughs> and then we found this little um, Hallmark putsies out or used to. Yeah. They're called Itty Bitties. And it's like a little lumberjack guy and he has a little axe. He's cute. Uh, your turn. <clears throat> All right, let me go. I got a couple of Nerf guns. So uh, I got a barricade here. Got to see, make sure the... I got to start bringing a screwdriver <clears throat> to see if, uh, like, the compartments... To make sure the compartments are not corroded. Uh, picked up this Rampage. Um, here. And then picked up another strong arm. So that's... These I sell these for I sell these for five bucks at my at the booth, mm -hmm. and they sell fine. Uh, and the mega ones, the mega ones that are like this type, I sell those for ten bucks. Yeah, we price stuff to move. Price stuff to move. We're not a warehouse. We're not a storage warehouse. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so cool. Excited about more Nerf, even though I got a whole bin full of Nerf. Mm -hmm. I found uh, this needle point. I found two needlepoint sets. So this one is like a little cottage. It says thatched cottage and has like little flowers with a little heart. And it's all sealed and everything's in there. Does that have a year on there? 1990 it says. It's five by five. And then there's this other one called needle pointers. It says little swinger. I have a little girl on a swing. And then this one, we'll see if there's a year on here. Oh, 1975. I think Ooh. I was wrong on the other one. This was 1990. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so, and it looks like all the stuff is in there. And then uh, it actually is, like, printed there to, like, help you do it. Pretty close to sealed. I got three little toys. I uh, told Monique, let's stay away from little toys because we got tons of toys. I got a, you, a bucket. I got a bin full of toys. You broke your own rules. Because, I know, but I said... <laughs> I said, unless we find some cool vintage stuff or some some cool, there's always exceptions to you the rule. You betrayed me. Um, and see, I found this little toy here, which is from Rugrats. Oh yeah, it's Lil. So it's one of the oh, Phil and Lil. The it's twins. a Phil and Dillis pickle. What? So something like that is cool. I found a little Mickey Mouse figure. These uh, move at the dollar bin. And then um, found a, a little mummy. So that's that? cool. I don't know. It's a little rubber mummy. But uh, I'm sure this will sell. This is Hanna-Barbera. So it's, oh. it's probably uh, Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay. It's probably from Scooby-Doo. Yeah. So this is something cool. Yeah, everything has it. Because they had other little toys and stuff. But I was like, nah, man. We got tons of it still to fill up our art. Dollar our bin. dollar bins and we yeah. just filled up our dollar bins um and we still have a lot of stuff so we're good on that i found some little toys too um some of these little wooden guys they're really cute it looks like maybe this one's the mom and then there's like little kids and they sit down do you guys remember like those little um i had some dolls like this in like the playhouse where you turn them and they sit down these are wooden oh, that's they're cool. cute right mm -hmm. What were, they, what were they called? Right. The, uh, little sit, play school. Little sit downers. They were play school. They're they're cute though, so I got them, and they're like a little family. <clears throat> I picked up some Imagine Next items. Batmobile for the little Batman get up or little set we have at the booth. This one looks like it has lights. Oh. Um, but it might shoot something. Looks like it might have a button or something lights up. Um, oh, there we go. But um, I gotta switch the batteries and see if it works. We got that. And then, da da da, found the white tiger zord uh, for Imagine X, also. This is kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, that's, uh, yeah. So, white tiger zord, Batman. If you had to choose a hero, who would you choose to save and or protect you? Batman 
or the White Power Ranger? Drop your answer in the comments, please. Thank you. <laughs> I got this little baby. It's really cute. It's naked. I'm covering its um, front parts. And those, those are little booty cheeks. But it has like a little paw print inside of this window. I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. It's not like focusing. Uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be no. able to see it. Anyway, and then it has like a little button on its front, like where the belly button is, and it's anatomically correct. So <laughs> I don't know. The brand says Famosa too on the back of the head. Um, unfortunately, there's no like battery compartment for me to be able see. to see. You know what I mean? To replace the battery to see if it works. But I just thought it was really cute though. That's weird. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you have to turn it like with a little key. Maybe. Oh yeah, maybe. I'm sure you could Google it. It's just cute though. I just like it. It's cute. Alright, I found one of these dealies. Measuring tape. Measuring tape? What is it called? I don't know the the a tailor's uh, whatever. It's a measuring, measuring tape. Thing. Uh, you know we you have know, we have some, for... but it's always you know it doesn't hurt to have more. I feel like we always lose them. Um, and then I found a um, GoPro like the hand um, stabilizer. The grip. It's a hand grip, oh. but these are like they float in the water. Mm. So if you go like you know the jet ski or something on a boat you drop it in the water it floats so that was pretty cool because i've been looking at some on amazon and look at that got one at the burns baby and it weighs like nothing um uh, what else should i show i found this little um goose i think it's a goose it's like a wall pocket and the back is like a cardboardy type of material and on the inside it says Oh my god, can I read that? Bim Bimwood Production Co. I can't really read it. And then it has the year. It's M C M L X X X V I I. Made in USA. So like all the stamp portions in there. But... So it's a it's a year. It's mother goose. Oh well, yeah, huh? Yeah. Um, so so that's I don't know what year that is, but we'll have to look it up to translate the see what it is. The year. Okay, and then I also found a uh, looks like a vintage Rubbermaid uh, Lazy Susan, and it's two tier, and then these little sticks like go into these little holes to make it two tier. Why is it called Lazy there. Susan? You um, think they named it after actual Susan that was lazy? Maybe somebody named Susan came up with the invention. Well, maybe. And then I found some more. Like, right as Ivan was like, okay, we got to leave. I found some more uh, Tupperware measuring cups. They're not complete, though. I only have three. I think it comes with five, I want to oh, say. We sold these at your booth, right? Some sold at your booth. I don't know. I think so. I, I don't one? Well, yeah, a set. Oh, sold but those you. are the Wilton bake, uh, Cupcake. Oh. Measuring oh, that's right. Those okay. are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they would sell better if I had all five. Found another uh, vintage Tupperware lid. I found this little Tupperware lid. It goes to like a little container. And there was like a bunch of them that go on a square Lazy Susan. And actually, um, Mike gave us like one or two of these kind of Tupperware things. Like you put seasoning in them. And then I found this thing. This is, I think, from the same year. No, I'm making stuff up. Um, this is like a little juice pitcher. And it has the lid on it and everything. Here's the logo. It's pretty cool. I always laugh at these little tiny pitchers. I'm like, this is a juice. If I have like my favorite juice in here, I'm just going to walk around with this like with a straw. It's, <laughs> it's like so tiny. An individual serving? Because I drink a lot of liquids. I'm always like, I always want to drink something. Some juice or something. Well, I guess that explains why everybody has diabetes. Diabetes. Know? Diabetes. And then I'll show you guys, like, some corningware stuff. I found four cradles for corningware. So the logo's right there. I don't know how old they are. 
And I think they're older, just looking at the design, it looks very mid-century modern. So there's, I got two of these. Oh, somebody's calling me. Sorry, keep going. And then I got two of these. So these are bigger and these are smaller. It has that same uh, logo on there. So I gotta see which uh, corning wear they go to. And then I found some uh, Santa Claus suspenders. I know Christmas is over, but these are pretty cool because they have like little Santa Claus is on there and then they're made in West Germany. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, so they're these. vintage too then. They probably are, yeah. Yeah, if they're made in West Germany, they're vintage. Yeah, so that's why I picked them up. And they're still they're still stretchy. So gonna dress up Santa Claus next year or this year's Christmas haul. I got um <clears throat> I found this a little pug and pug and play. Plug and play. Pug, plug and play. Little Spongebob uh, fella. You know, this is that um, TV games brands. I haven't tried it out. Hopefully it works. And again, oh, it turns on. See that? It turns on. So uh, I still like to check the battery compartment and make sure that it's not corroded. Um, yeah, but this will, this is something for the booth. That will sell. I, I'll see how much it is on, on eBay, depending on how much it is. On eBay, if it's, you know, just a couple bucks or whatever, I'll just flip it at the booth for sure. We found another Vera Bradley purse. It has the little, um, says Vera Bradley on the zipper pull. And then, oh, it also says Vera Bradley here, like on the little rings that hold the strap. And it also says it on the inside. I think this one might be a little bit newer. You guys see that? So that's what the inside looks like. And that's the pattern. I have one at the booth right now. It's green, but it's a little bit bigger. That one's in actually better shape, and I'm surprised nobody has purchased that one yet. I'm just still like waiting for the right buyer to come along. <laughs> but you, you sold one already, right? Vera Bradley. Or or um, was it the other brand? No, I sold a Harajuku purse and a knitted, like a handmade. Oh, that's right, the knitted, knitted one. bag. It was very like seventies. <clears throat> looking oh this is transformers oh i thought it was uh like power rangers oh okay cool so we found i found part of a transformer um it's like half of it or a side of it or something uh it's like the foot and part of the body uh so i gotta see who it goes to so i gotta do a little bit of research i'm not too familiar with all the transformers but yeah that's so it has a little logo transformer logo here and here so that's cool i thought i thought it was part of a like a zord from the power rangers so cool gotta look that up and i even found this like organization case it's double-sided it has a bunch of little tiny compartments like to put um Whatever your heart desires, thread, buttons. Yeah, I saw this because I bought a lot of Thomas the oh. Tank, Thomas and Friends, like the minis, and they had them stored in these. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, you can use it for whatever, but that's just why it stood out to me. You know what? Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. That would be Hot perfect. Wheels. That's probably what this is great for. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, cool. cool. And then it has the little handle to carry it. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I came across a bunch of fridge magnets, and these are from 1989. So it's 1989 FP. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's like a bunch of little farm things and like little people. Like there's this little girl and this guy. Like a school teacher or something? Probably. Some books. A little cow. <laughs> An egg spatula. And then it has like a bunch of like little words. So like this barn. And a bunch of like words and stuff. It's like a whole set, so I just grabbed it. Corn. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A little tractor. So I grabbed all those. I, you know what? I saw a bag of the letters. 
Oh. Yeah, but I just kind of, I didn't, I don't know. I was thinking about some mouse plush. So there was a bag of letters. I mean, I don't know if they sell or anything, but. Well, I don't know there. if they went to this set. Because it know. looks like they already have, like, words. I don't know. Maybe they did. Who knows? <laughs> Here to collect your deposit. Look, I found Captain Hook. Captain Hook? And the Cracker Barrel. I don't know if you want this to be mask. Oh, Dave and Buster's. And this is Gerald Gary. Chocolates. Okay. Cool. Oh, uh, Zoom Zoom. Dude from Coco. Coco, yeah. What's your name, Miguel? Miguel. We got, a, we got a nice little collection of these Zoom Zoom plush. So I'm going to start lighting those up. Putting them up on the eBay and the Mercari's. That's a cool dude. I got a little Batmobile. Oh, cool. 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 For the GoPro. <laughs> okay, this is the last, the last bag, the last of the haul here. I got the Sweet Man, Sweet Batman wallet. The last wallet we put in the booth sold, the Hello Kitty wallet. Mm -hmm. I think that one was vintage. I don't think this is. It's the blue and gray Batman, so but I think I can I'm not sure. Him. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Retro style. Um, I'm missing what kind of shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> so um, you know, Bucky's a thing in Texas. So here's a little Bucky. Oh, this thing is hot. Though, yeah, this huh? thing is hot. He was probably holding something, but we'll, we'll just trim off those little um, strings. Yeah. He's wearing a little t-shirt. So, Bucky's is like a thing over here in Texas. It's a gas station that has like... Everything. Every snack you can imagine. Barbecue. Yeah. They have like everything. So, there's Bucky. He's a, a beaver, right? I think he's a beaver. Yeah, a beaver. Got a, another dinosaur here. This is Cole's Cares. Another one I haven't come across before, so... Excited to have a different Cole's Cares. Um, I since we're getting so many, so much plush, and I'm listing out stuff on eBay. I'm like, I think I I just had everything on all the plush under plush. I'm like, dang, I think I should start separating into like Cole's Cares and Disney and oh, like you know, categories yeah. under plush or brands or whatever. yeah, because everything is just under plush. But that's kind of everything we have now on ebay so uh, there's a couple other things but mostly mostly plush. plush yeah yeah uh i found this world market um lion just he kind of has like a sock pu uh sock puppet sock monkey sock, sock monkey. monkey vibe like the way that they made him and he's made in uh, earth that he's from, <laughs> he's, from <laughs> he's from world market <laughs> i don't know where I'm tired, you guys. It's late like at night. When you get, she had a glitch. She went oh into God. Spanish for for a word. Okay, me. Uh, this one that Mira is thing. <laughs> She's like <laughs> reboot, reboot. reboot. Mode. <laughs> uh, this is Spark. Create imagine imagination. Ima create imagine. Spark. Create imagine. I don't know what store is the one that puts this out. Is it Target? Target. I don't know. Oh, yeah. He's a little cat. He's pretty cool. 
a nice size too. So got that. Oh, it's a cat. I was like, what is that? Uh, I think I found this one. It's a little sloth. It's basically sloth. Aurora brand. Show you guys the tag. Aurora. He's really cute. Got an Angry Birds, the blue one. Blue one. I've been picking them up recently and they've actually been selling individually. Because I pick them up and I'll list them. Um, and if I get like a nice set of Angry Birds, then I'll list them together. But the other ones I've been selling. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick this guy up too. Why not? I found a whole bunch of hand puppets. Uh, they're by Melissa and Doug. Let me show you guys the tag just in case you're not familiar. So there's a little cow, there's a monkey, there's an elephant, a giraffe. Is that all of them? Probably. I think that's all of them. Yeah, so I kept finding them like scattered around, so I just grabbed all of them. And the back is like similar on all of them. They all have like little swirly tails. So I was like, I think they're all from Melissa and Doug. Some of them are missing tags, so... Uh, I never seen this before. I didn't know this existed. This is a doodle pony. Oh my so the other day I picked up a doodle bear yesterday's video and this is a doodle pony. So I was like, yeah, I did. Um, and it's 2007. So it's pretty cool. This one has like, yeah, you know, you kind of fill in the lines. It's um, number two or not fill in the lines. Color, color, by, number? color by numbers. Yes. There you go. So he was pretty cool. I'm not sure how much it goes for, but that's cool. Oh, found a little um, Build-A-Bear pony. I think it's like an accessory or something. Yeah, Build-A-Bear Workshop, it says on the tag. Yeah, so it has like a little zipper here. It's missing the little zipper pull. I didn't notice that. It's too late now. Maybe I'll fix it. I'm, I'm sure it'll still sell. I uh, found this cool, we were just trying to stay away from Tide, but this one was too cool. Uh, this Marwall. Marwall? Yeah, huh? Marwall, yeah. I mean, it's just I all think... kinds of shininess and colors and, yeah, so. It's really I was like, cool. that'll sell. This is the little um, Captain Hook that I was telling you guys about, huh? It has bin dust on it. Bin dust. A little Captain Hook to go with um, the Simpsons. alligator. Yeah, Simpson, sorry. Little Simpson tag. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I got a we got a nice little lot of those Tsum Tsum plush, so I'm gonna put those together and try to sell them off that way. Uh, we got a uh, tiger here from Animal Planet. That's Cole's Cares also. Oh, it's like a combo Animal Planet and Cole's Cares. That's awesome. But he has this like Animal Planet tag here, and on a tag on the back says Animal Planet and Cole's Cares. That's cool. I've never seen that one before. I like the tag. We found another um, Chick Fil A little cow. Just says "Eat more chicken." Yeah, the last two we found, a lot of them up together, sold right away. So I was like, okay, that's good. Those are good ones to find. Monique found this guy. It says "Tartine et chocolat." It's like in French. Tartine et chocolat. I don't know, right there. He has a little pocket, and there's a little oh, dude. Where did he go? Somewhere. <gasps> I don't see him. Is he in there? Oh, you know what? Maybe. Yep, yeah, here he is. Okay, good. So, I thought he fell out of the cart. There's a, it's a little baby the same guy. So oh. he has a pocket. And we're going to stuff him in there together and sell him off that way. So, yeah, marsupial style. Yeah, he has a nice tag and everything. This is from... I'm not sure. But it's France. Made in France. So, cool. Nice little colors. Chocolat. I found this Jiminy Cricket and it still has a tag. I know somebody who would like this. I don't know if they would want it. Who? Becky? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at he has his little umbrella. Yeah, I have no idea what looks Jiminy like, Cricket stuff she has. Oh, uh, it looks like he was going for seven dollars Walt Disney World. It says. It's cute. Okay guys, so we got a total of 71 items and we spent $56.80, so that brings it to 81 cents per item. 81 cents per item, cool with me. We always, we I think there's only been once where we, no, we've always stayed under a dollar per per piece. Yeah. Um, 
Well, we kind of, some of the things are like lotted up, like some of the little things, we lot them up so we don't count them individually. I count them as one yeah, thing. Yeah, like similar stuff, like, yeah, like uh, like a set or something. Mm -hmm. We count it as one. If we were to send it, count yeah, it individually, individually, it'd bring down the price more. But we're still happy with it. If we get, stay under a dollar on each item, yeah. that's cool. Because uh, some, some of this stuff is going to go for more. should be able to make those uh, 50 to $6 back. Easy, pumpkin pie, slice of pie, slice cake, slice of crumb cake, crumb cake <laughs> from Casper. Yeah, uh, yeah. So crumb thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for coming back. Hopefully you enjoyed the first haul of twenty twenty one. Oh my god! And what should they do, Monique? They should subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and follow us on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, check the links below uh, for all that good stuff and. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, uh, you should go back and watch it because I started listing on Mercari and, you know, our sales started picking up by using the resale kit. Because it's a secret that everybody can know. So if you want to know what this resale kit is, go back and watch tomorrow's, no, yesterday's video. And you'll learn all about the resale kit. I sold... I started listing two days ago on Mercari and I've sold six items on there already. Yes. Excited. Okay. <laughs> bye. That's creepy. See you on the next video. Bye. 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 bye.